Hey everybody, it's Big Dog. We had a toy show at my store today. And uh, this is the stuff that I bought. I'll get into it. A couple good deals. I mean, things I've already made money on. So, I met this guy today. He does a lot of house cleanouts. And uh, he had all this Power Ranger stuff. Not all of it. Some of something different I'll get into. But, uh, and then I paid a certain amount of money. And then I turned around and flipped like maybe 10 items out of the pile and made twice my money back already so not a bad deal so it's all power rangers a lot of vintage stuff uh 94 95 area 96 there's some camera riders parts and pieces of the weapons little radio shampoo bottles Godar. Had some villains. I sold uh, six villains today. That made my money back plus some. And then I sold a bunch of 94 to 8 inch, 6 and 8 inch figures. And uh, this size figure. And uh, that brought me almost double what I paid. So not bad. So there's a lot of Power Rangers in here. All this bag stuff came from another guy, my buddy Mike. So I picked all these up. They're in the Power Rangers. I just sold all my stuff away, but now I'm starting to buy stuff back. So this is another blue one. This is uh, like the ones I sold. So that's the stuff. That's mine. Also, at this guy's table, he had this. I think it's a, it could be Street Fighter, Bianca, Abanca, or whatever his name is. And, uh, what was the possibility it could be G.I. Joe, because Street Fighter was in G.I. Joe for a little bit. So, but it's a knockoff. Very, very cool. That's going to do it on the Power Ranger stuff. So then, uh, So uh, then I went ahead and I walked around. I bought, was buying a lot of stuff. Towards the end of the day, my buddy comes up to me and says, hey, buy this lot off me. Now, I'm not a big Lego guy. I mean, there's a couple of Lego block sets in here. Uh, but for the price that he gave me, I had a piece in it that was pretty valuable that I sold already for 50 bucks out of this lot. So uh, I definitely got my money back. So these are... This is Mega Blocks. This is sealed. Legends of King Arthur. Uh, never had a box. Uh, then boxes are filled with just loose Legos. Both of them. This has got some books in it and some Lego sets that are built. Uh, inside here. More Legos, more books. So a lot of people just like the books because they can, if they have a bunch of Legos, they can make it. So I got the yellow submarine. It has all four beetles. So that's kind of cool with their weapons. Kind of cool. Got this piece. Rescue set. So, Star Wars. With the driver. I don't know what this is. It's a city set. Comes in with all this. Uh, probably all the stuff that goes with this Coast Guard set. And there's this. Just Lego Star Wars piece. I think, I don't know if it's Legos or if this is Mega Blocks. It could be Mega Blocks. But still very cool. So that's cool. Uh, this light was on there. 
it says it lights up it glows red all down through here and then the lights flash it's kind of cool it's a little mini uh playset little army tank playset it's got some airplanes some tanks some trucks little people so it's kind of cool there had all these lego boards 12 by 12s and 8 by 8s got this lego set here it is open it's all there it's all bagged inside uh the city set is closed never open and the mega block set this gun's kind of cool it's a water pistol it's a legend series jackal captain marvel it's untamed little finger puppet kind of things kind of like the fingerlings Mass of the Universe, Battle Cat vs. Rotan. And this is Toy Mini Brands, Collector Case. These old Matchbox are in there, train car. It's number 44, there's two of these guys. The Johnny Lightning piece. The 32 Roadster. And the wacky winners. Hey, Jeff. Leave just the Legos out. You can take the Mega Ball. Huh? Uh, so, one of the first things I bought today, this was the last thing I bought. One of the first things I bought was all these Godzillas. So I got this Godzilla. And I got that one. This one. Which is called Rex, but it's a knockoff Godzilla. Old toy. There's the box. A little beat up. I don't know if it works or not. I gotta try it. 1987. Some very very good shape. When you move the arms, his mouth moves. That's kind of cool. And then I got all these little Godzillas was in another lot. Godzilla do really good. I got an upcoming show coming up in two weeks. RetroCon out in Oaks, PA, at the Expo Center. That's an awesome show. Been doing that show now since 2019. Very very good show. And then this here, King Kong, he bangs on his chest. Move that button and he bangs on his chest. Oh, going back real quick with that Lego stuff, this uh, older He-Man Battle Cat was in there. So, uh, when I was doing the Power Rangers, I said my buddy Mike had some stuff. I bought this from Mike. A little Jurassic World. A little Transformer. It's all new. It's a Pokemon piece. Oh, this was in the Lego deal too, Marlin. This is a cool piece. I had one of these as a kid. Kind of like a Simon Says kind of thing. It lights up. You got to push buttons and all kind of stuff. So I bought this guy. Don't have this one. Women's did a lot of uh, Snoopy kind of candy little dishes. So I wound up buying this little Snoopy. Went to my buddy Joe L's table. And I wound up uh, picking up these newer edition uh, Teen Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is a Mutant Bebop. Leonardo. And this is a mutant Mikey. 
they were kind of cool. Called that. And on his table, his son had some stuff. Now, I'm not a Vikings fan, but my nephew's a diehard Vikings fan. So I saw this kind of figure. Thought it was cool. Just pick up for him. One of the first things I bought this morning, right after I bought the Godzilla, is I picked up this Goldberg on card. Kind of cool. This is 2017. So not super old, but still good. Look at this gremlin piece. Gives me with Barney. So that's kind of cool. It's a Karate Kid on Punch. It's a newer release, retro. Uh, can't find the date, but well. Eventually, I'm going to build. I got a project I'm working on, and I need this tractor. So I had to pick it up. Uh, that was five bucks. Here's a older SmackDown Jack Specific belt, kids' toy belt, in packaging. Picked that up. I got a guy that collects these. Then I picked up these wrestlers for five bucks a piece. Sable bomb, sable. And the whole set of the new day. There's Kofi. Big E. And there's Avery Woods. The whole set of them. And I got this other guy's name, Frank. He buys all kinds of stuff. And he was getting ready to leave. And I wound up doing two deals with him. So... I was getting this all newer stuff, but still stuff that I could throw on the table at the flea market when I go up there. So I got this guy. Jedu. Matter of fact, I think in my store in Hamilton, I have one of these, but not this one. So I'm going to add this to the collection up there. Uh, then I got some Rubbles. A construction tool belt from Paw Patrol. Got this guy. The Supermobile. All these different Jurassic World dinosaurs. I saw these guys in my store, no problem. One of these is going to yell at me. This one, I think. And that one, Irritator. They just kept throwing shit in boxes. So I got this Tinker Tar. Throw it in there. All these different Nerf guns. There's a Nerf uh, Dino Squad. There's a bigger Dino Squad. So this is like a T-Rex or a Raptor. The Raptor Slash. And that's the Tricera Blast. And I got them Vision Rivals. And I got these big Fortnite guns. And then I got all those. There's probably another six more to the, the Raptor Slash guns. We worked out a decent little price, and I wound up buying it. So as the show's over and everybody starts packing up, everybody starts throwing stuff. And usually I get a lot of stuff thrown my way. Today, not so much, but some decent things. Uh, one thing I could use for a project. Uh, this box is cool. It's a Mega Blocks box. So that's kind of cool. And then there's these uh, coasters, rare coin coasters. It's a 1916 Liberty, 1877 uh, Indian. This is a 1914 Penny. And another rare Liberty, 1918. That was just third on table. This box was third on table, which is really cool. It's a little toy box. These cake pans were on my table. I don't know what the hell this is. Some kind of weird name. Little tractor was third on my table. She's do well in the store. 
His little micro machine piece was in there. And one in a box from 94. That transport was on there. That was left flying high on one of my racks. Uh, and then, of course, there's Thomas Train Crane. Now, I don't think I want the hook. I got something I'm working on, and I need a hook, and this hook will work perfect. Uh, so that's going to do it for this video of things I bought at my Richland Fall Toy Fest. And uh, rate, subscribe, hit that like button. Till the next one. Big dogs out. Everybody be safe.